actually, before I open this, I'm going to talk to you so... I'm going to have to close the curtain. <sighs> there we go. Right. Before I open this box, I'm going to discuss something with you. A lot of people knock China for in terms of manufacturing. And, you know, perhaps quite rightly so. Maybe it's justified, maybe not. However, good stuff does come from China. Pretty much any packaging you see anywhere in the world comes from China. This is packaging that I ordered some time ago. So I'm simultaneously excited and anxious because I've not had a good history with packaging in the past, ordering it from China or ordering it from anywhere. I always seem to screw it up somehow. You know, I think it will do one thing or work one way, whether it's a cardboard box or a plastic bag or a paper bag or an envelope. I'm excited that it's finally arrived. It's taken many months of sort of back and forth, but I'm nervous because pretty much every time in the past it's screwed up and it's been a waste of horrible amounts of money. So, China is very good at packaging. They are excellent at packaging. Yes, you get some cheap stuff, but you get some really good stuff. When packaging has gone wrong for me in the past, it's not been the quality so much as what I thought would do wouldn't quite do, you know, or how I thought it would work wouldn't quite work. Yes, sometimes glue has come apart and stuff like that, but overall, the quality has been there, and I'm hoping that's the case for this here, which I'm about to show you. I think this packaging is actually going to work. This may seem cheap, like, I'm concerned that people are going to think, oh, this is cheap, it's just some, like, plastic bag, but it is and it isn't. It's made from very thick, sort of, um, it's a foil bag. The premise was that it's, it's simple throwaway packaging. I don't know about you, but when I get packaging where I'm just, like, left with a bunch of stuff that I have to throw away, it annoys me more than the wow factor of going, oh, look at this fancy packaging. I know that. I get, like, a packaging hangover. So it's like, like, oh, this is great at the time, but you get your product, you put it in your pocket or whatever it is, and you are left with the package, you're like, oh, what do I do with this? So that's the purpose of this. Believe it or not, this has taken me a long, long time to come up with. I need, oh, I'm too hot. Ugh. Unfortunately, I had to buy quite a lot of them, like 10,000 but it, I think it's gonna work. So as you can see here, little tear away sections so that the idea is that when the customer gets it, they just rip it open, they get their hand key, titanium pen, pencil, tweezers, carabiner, whatever it is, they get it, and they're like, oh, it's good packaging, but at least I can throw it away. I don't have, I don't have a packaging hangover. I've been searching for my dream packaging for like two years now, and I think this is finally it. That was a courier van driving away. He's just dropped off another package, which I will show you, because it is directly related to the packaging I just showed you. This is the package he just dropped off. They are labels. Really nothing too exciting. If we take a look at the black bags I just got, I will explain these to you. With these labels here, as you can see, 50 millimeters by 30 millimeters. I will be able to print titanium tweezers made on whatever date. That will get printed and put probably on there. Stuff is really happening today. A truck has just pulled up. This is the third delivery today and the last thing I was waiting for, I didn't expect it. So this is plastic media, plastic pyramids. I think they're quarter inch coarse grade plastic pyramids. I've been finding that the, the semi-polished and matte finish is getting too close together. Like the, when you compare them, they're a little close. This is to stop that happening. You know, we're, we're changing, I'm, I'm forever, 
adjusting and tweaking and testing the process and this is part of it. So I know I had a small amount of this stuff before, I knew it would work, so I ordered a whole load more. I'm not sure if you've seen it, but a few weeks ago I made a, like a knuckle duster, novelty knuckle duster, that was actually an iPhone stand. In fact, I'll show you. Easiest way is to show you on my phone. There's a photo of the knuckle duster and this is it here being used as an iPhone stand. My plan today is, or at least today and tomorrow, is to make another one but a little, a little bit more streamlined, a little bit better finished, just for fun, but out of Mokutai. If you don't know what Mokutai is, you'll find out soon. Right, time to get to town. Right, I am gonna show you what a bit of Mokutai looks like. This here, is Mokutai. Now Mokutai is it's a type of layered titanium so it's got two different grades of titanium layered like like that and so what happens is is it looks kind of messy and ugly as a basically as a as a plain bit of metal but once you smooth it get some get it nice and polished or shiny or just a, a nice finish on it and you take to it with a blowtorch, you get some amazing colors coming through. Now this, I think, is around $2,000. Yes, I said $2,000. That is how much this stuff costs. So you don't really want to make a mistake. Today a girl called me something I have never been called before. She said I was sophisticated. Sophisticated. She obviously doesn't know me very well. <laughs> 